Hey you guys, it's your girl Miss Yvette Goes Loca and today I am making a Lebanese garlic sauce called Tom Tuma. I think I'm saying it right, Tuma. So all ingredients you really need is some lemon juice, a cup, a half a cup of lemon juice, I got a tablespoon of salt, this is two cups of vegetable oil, it's supposed to be three so I'm going to have to add a third one, um, cloves of garlic. It's about 17 cloves of garlic. And you got your food processor. First, we're gonna pour it, put the garlic, put all the garlic in here. Okay. And you're gonna have your food processor on low. So, put that in there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and the salt. So, the garlic and the salt goes in together. All right, this should take about maybe 10 minutes to make. So then you want to put your top on. This is my new blender from um, <clears throat> Quiznart. I found it at Walmart for like 30 bucks. Uh -oh. I don't want to unlock that. All right, let's see. Okay, so I'm assuming it's locked. I don't know. Not to be with the okay, now the top is locked. So we got the top unlocked. This one has two speeds, so low and high. Really just needed to be on high. I mean, on low. Okay, what am I not doing right? We're not working. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I had to figure out how to use this little blender thing. All right, so I'm going to put the garlic and the salt back in the blender. Well, in the food processor, because this is a food processor. Because this little tab has to be a certain, a certain way on the blender. Okay, so you want it all around. You want to brown it, you want to... Right now we're mixing the garlic. I missed that. Okay. Right. You want to take the top off. You want to scrape all the garlic back down. So we're scraping the garlic down. I like this little blender. Came with a little spatula thing, everything. Okay. And then we're going to pour in a little bit of um, lemon juice. Not at the time, not at the same time. So we pour a little bit in at a time. My food processor has like some holes on the top so I can add liquid. So I want to have, add half the lemon juice now. Okay, we want to blend that. That was really good. Alright, now we want to add in one cup of oil at a time. Making lamb chops, I gotta check them. Okay. They smell kind of good. Alright, so I'm gonna go back in here again, real quick. Just check the consistency. Okay, because you kind of want like a pasty like almost. It's getting. 
Okay. It's like you're making a mayonnaise. All right. I don't know how to use my fruit processor. Hey, great. All right, back up. I want to add some more lemon juice. And you know, you can always taste it afterwards. You always add more. And we're going to add another cup and a half of oil. three cups of oil, but I like to smile, I use the two. Let's see what happens. I got lemon seeds stuck in the, the in little hole here. I'm trying not to get no seeds in, a, in here. is so far. This is it. I guess so. So just blend it a little bit more. I'm not going to put any more oil in here. Nope. I'm not going to put no more oil in here. I'm just going to blend it up some more. Thank you. 
garlic powder to it. Don't ask me why. Saying it right, so let me see. It's spelled T O U M. I think maybe this container might be too big. I don't think I got any smaller ones. Okay, it's called tomb in Arabic. Tomb. All right, <clears throat> so we just made some tomb, an Arabic Lebanese garlic sauce that we put on your chicken shramas. I'm about to make some pita chips. We're going to go on my pita chips. It's probably going to go on the salad. It's probably going to go on anything I can think of because it goes good with a lot of stuff, cucumbers, everything. All right, so this is your girl, Miss Yvette, and thank you for joining me making this Lebanese garlic butter, garlic sauce called tomb. Peace. Holla at your girl, like, and subscribe.